After the 2008 financial crisis, the U.S. public's trust in retail banks dropped dramatically. During the same time period, credit unions saw a large increase in business due to the relocation of consumers' money out of large corporate retail banks. What actually is a credit union and how does it differ from a retail bank like Wells Fargo, Chase, or Bank of America? Hey everyone, welcome to Cash Clarity where we teach you how to use money to get what you want. Today I have another finance basics video, which is part of a larger series of videos on my channel channel. I make content in hopes of helping you have a brighter financial future through education. If that's something that you want, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much. A retail bank is a financial institution that accepts deposit from and makes loans to the general public. It performs these actions for the express purpose of making a profit. The purpose of a retail bank or commercial bank, which is another common name used for this type of institution, is to provide the services listed before as well as provide social and economic stability and growth. This growth and stability is achieved primarily through lending of credit. The terms of lending are regulated by the country's central bank. Quick interjection, everything that I am talking about today is specific to the United States. Here, the central bank responsible for regulation is the Federal Reserve or the Fed. The Fed acts as a bank to these commercial banks. It also issues a common currency and is a hedge of protection for banks in financial trouble, i.e. the term the full confidence of the Federal Reserve. The Fed not only acts as the banker to these financial financial institutions, but it is also the bank of the government. The Fed differs greatly from, but can trace its roots back to the first bank of the United States, dated 1791. Alexander Hamilton was the architect of this bank, and some of his designs are still a part of our Fed today, although it differs greatly from Hamilton's designs and intentions. The bank also can't sing nearly as well as he can. A credit union is a financial institution that is owned by its members and is a non-profit financial co-op. Credit unions provide similar services to its members as a retail commercial bank. Consumer credit unions serve individual members, while commercial credit unions serve other credit unions. From here on out, I will refer to and focus on consumer credit unions just as credit unions. Members of credit unions are considered owners. This is a key difference between a retail bank and a credit union. Credit unions are also directed by an elected board that is voted in by members. A distinction of credit unions is that they are often people over profit, mission-driven, institutions. The interesting part about credit unions is that in contrast to large retail banks, they are typically highly rated among its customers. Credit unions boast higher success rates within the microfinance sector as well and pride themselves on financial inclusion and affordability. It's important to note though that normally only a member can borrow or deposit money. High customer satisfaction and members only means that they're kind of like the Costco of the finance world. The similarities that a credit union and a retail bank should share are that both issue credit or loans, both act as a keeper of deposits, both act as a protector of funds, and both act directly with customers under a customer service and satisfaction business model. Something I'd like to say to someone just starting to learn about personal finance is you are the customer. You don't have to bank where your parents bank. If you are ever made to feel intimidated or stupid while at a bank due to the actions of an employee, then leave. You have no obligation to them. You are in charge and it is your money. If a financial institution institution is implementing strategies to overcharge, overdraft, or enroll you in programs you don't want, leave. Not only this, but because it is your money, the bank should be fighting to earn and keep it through practices that put your best interests at heart. Thank you for listening to my rant. I feel strongly about this point. I also feel protective towards people who have their lack of knowledge used against them. I believe personal finance as a topic should not be intimidating and boring. I've made it my goal to make this topic personal and exciting as you gain the tools to build the financial feature that you want. Something else that I think will help you is really important and to hear about it you're going to need to watch this video right here.